So hello everybody, in today's video we are going to create the Tesla Revenue Sankey chart using Charticulator. So let's get started. Okay guys, so Charticulator is a tool provided by Microsoft, completely free, that allows you to create charts without coding. Okay, and I saw this chart on Twitter, it comes from Reddit, I'm going to put the link down below and I wanted to know if I could do it in Charticulator because I think it is a fabulous way to represent PL, profit and loss. So let me show you how to do it. It's actually not that complicated as I thought it would be. So to get started, you need to go to charticulator.com and then you click here on launch. You need two files for these. You're going to need a node file, which is basically, this is to order the PNL elements. This is the amount per element, and then this is the type. So basically, these are the IDs, and these here are the kind, what I call on Excel the kind. And this is a column that is needed for um, coloring, basically. Um, and you're going to need another one that is the links. So the links file, it basically tells you that this chart starts here and then you should link it to this one, this one you link it to this one, and you need to create this yourself, right? So it's to, to, so Charticulator knows how to put the notes together. So let's put this into Charticulator. So in here, we're going to drop the nodes here, and we're going to drop the links in here. If the format is not correct, go here to options and make sure that the CSV is according to your local uh, region settings, because it wasn't for me and it was a mess. So again, make sure that that is correct. You put the nodes on the data and you put the links in here. You need to have an ID on the nodes and a source ID and target ID columns on the links. Okay, once you have done that, we start the creation of the chart later. So one of the things you need to figure out is how, you know, how to build this chart. Um, if you look at it, you will see that this is basically a bar chart, but instead of having it on that, it is stacked on by group, so it's put together. It's like a, a column stacked bar, but then it has nodes on it. So the elements of the chart is actually a rectangular. So just drop it in there. And then we're going to put the length of the bar chart is obviously going to be the amount. So you put it on height. And then here we want to group it by the revenue kinds. So you have here the revenue type, total revenue, yeah? So we're going to put the kind in the axis. And again, we wanted this to stack them on top of each other. So to do that, you will go in here and put stack Y. And now it starts to look similar, right? So we're going to increase the gap between, you can actually do it also like that, you see? Or you can do it in here, gap. I think 70% is quite okay. And we're going to put it in the middle and we're going to color it. So we want to have the colors. So all the revenue should be blue, the cost should be red and the profit green. So if I go in here, I'm going to for you select the element that you want to do a transformation on. Let's put the glyph like that. So this is the shape. You see here, those are the shapes, and we want to color them. So here you can see fill. We're going to do it by color, the column that we created that it was called color. And then here you can actually change the color. So we said the profit should be green, the revenue should be blue, and then the cost should be orange, red ish, right? And then it starts, starts to look at something like what we wanted. Now, you can sort it. You couldn't do this before, but you can sort it by the column that we created. Order is really, really neat. And what we need to do now is to 
you know, to put the links together, to put these things and do this Sankey effect. And you do that with this link in here. So you're going to do a band and you want it by the link data that is in here. So we're going to create the links. Don't panic. <laughs> this is fine. It's just that the um, type is an arc. We don't want that. What we want to have is this one. Right? And now it's going to still look weird. But look at what it's doing. You see the green thing there? So it's going from the bottom to the bottom. Maybe in some other cases you want that but not here. Here we want to have from the side to the side. So cool, so cool. And then we're going to increase the curve. Not that much. <laughs> Something like that. And now, here's the thing. I wanted to color these blue. So this should be blue, this should be green, but you can't do that. I try to, here, if you go to the link and you put color, you can actually drop the color in there, but it doesn't do anything, which is a pity. So, what I did instead is got rid of that and then put it as a lighter gray so it's not so prominent. And it starts to look quite similar to the effects that we want. So the next thing that we want to do is to, um, the chart title you can either delete it or, well, it depends on if you're going to import in another tool like Power BI. Uh, in this case, we want to have this Tesla revenue, <laughs> revenue, so good. And now we're going to start adding text. So to add text, you need to go to the uh, to the shape, and here you need to tell Charticular where you want to have the text placed. So we're going to zoom in a little bit, and then we're going to get the um, text thing. So just drop it in there. And now you can see that it aligned to the middle. We don't want it to have that. We want to have it right next to there. Right? So you can zoom in and see exactly where you put it in. And this text should actually be our uh, IDs or types. The, the idea of the type is the same. So either one. So you go and in here here you see text, you can drop the type in there. Ah, so cool, so cool. Okay, so go in there and now we're going to make a little bit of space for the text. And we want to have also the numbers. Okay, so we're going to zoom out a little bit and then drop a new text thing in there. Again, we don't want it in the middle, we want it in the middle of the text. Somewhere there. We're going to now do the same as we did before. That text though should be the amount in there, okay? And you can see the amount starts up here. And now we want to format that. So to format, what you need to do here is first, in order to be able to add text, you need to add a backslash. And then we can add now a dollar amount. And you see that it gets added. The next thing that we want to do is you know, there are too many zeros. Nobody's going to be able to read that. So you can actually divide these by something, by a number. So, and you can actually add more decimals. So we can see more numbers. So we are going to add three decimals. And we also want to have the um, billion connotation and that you add at the end. Huh? Cool, really, really neat. Um, the next thing that we want to do, we want to separate or highlight a little bit more one of the text. So we're going to select, this is the text, and then we're going to do it one step bigger. There's no bold that I could find, so maybe in the future. So we put it a little bit like that. Right. And now these are a little bit too, something like that. Okay, so now we have our chart. The next thing that you want to do is to save it and then you can use it elsewhere. Obviously, you don't want to use it here. You can actually change the background if you want to. I haven't told you that, but you could put a background of any color you like. I'm not going to do that, but you can actually do it. And um, now you start saving it, right? So you go and 
you export it, you can export it as an image, you can export it as a HTML, you can export it as a Charticulator template, or you can export it as a Power BI custom visual. So if, while working with Charticulator, you would like to request a feature or report a bug, go to GitHub, I'm gonna post a link down below, GitHub Charticulator, and then on the new issue, if you click here, you will get a report bug or feature request. So let's help Microsoft develop this because it is fantastic. And it's not just only for Power BI, you can do it for HTML pages, you can do it for absolutely anything and I absolutely love it. So I will see you soon with another Charticulator video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.